All right, guys, this is an interesting one. Have you ever wondered if John Wick's bulletproof suits are actually the real deal? Short answer is yes. If you are rich enough, and if you think that the threat is deep enough in your situation, then you absolutely can buy one of these suits. Now, we're obviously talking about this today because of the terrible news that happened very, very recently of the former prime minister, the Japanese prime minister, Shinzo Abe. He was assassinated. Shooter in police custody. I am not a big presidential know-it-all when it comes to different countries and prime minister know-it-all when it comes to but i actually knew about this guy I, I knew a little bit about this guy and my cat's touching buttons and it's honestly a huge shame that it has happened what has happened but it makes me wonder was this preventable the answer is yes and no but we will talk about that right now uh japan's strict gun laws make shootings very, very rare, right? So gun violence is extremely rare in Japan, says this website. In 2018, Japan, a country of 125 million people, only reported nine deaths from firearms compared with 39,740 of the same year in the United States. So say da da da. America, the land of the free, huh? Oh, well, there you go. I'm not going to talk about that one, but Shenzhou Abe killing. Security was flawed, Japan pol uh, police have said. Obviously, because this has happened, right, there is going to be huge changes, not just within Japan's secret service, but there'll be huge changes, most likely within America's Secret Service, the MI5 in England, Australian Federal Police in Australia, right? Every, you know, very, very big official, a prime minister or a president or someone close to that caliber, right? Uh, the people involved to protect those people will be trained even more so after this. You know, the, 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 the plot holes will be discovered in why this was allowed to happen and how the shooter managed to get through and you know things will be learnt from this to try and prevent this from happening again i mean if you're not from japan you probably don't know much too much about this guy you may have even never heard about him but trust me this situation was as bad as the jfk you know assassination john f kennedy we've all seen the photo we've all seen the video this video was actually updated in 4k recently and put on Discovery Channel, I think it was. And uh, yeah, terrible footage to see his, you know, basically head uh, with a bullet in it type of thing, right? Uh, but obviously when this happened for America, you know, and the Western world was pretty terribly shocked, right? So this is pretty much Japan's uh, JFK moment, right? But it reminds me of the American Secret Service right now. And, you know, if, if Secret Services are companies are going to be getting better in the future protecting their famous people or whatever you have to look at what what's already happening right now i just want i, I this actually reminded me of something right in this photo there is a man there is a man with a machine gun in this photo there's there's donald trump there's his wife uh melania his daughter uh, baron trump his son i'm sure a lot of these people have guns because a lot of these people are secret servers but one of them has a very secretive gun. It's this guy. Take a look at this. This guy right here became famous on the internet when Donald Trump did that walk in Washington DC, right? This guy's hands aren't his hands. They are fake hands. Take a look at this. If you've never heard of it, look at this. His hands are like puppet hands, okay? His real hands are inside of his jacket. His real hands are inside like this. My cat's in the way, but he's got his hands like this, right? Holding onto a machine gun kind of thing inside of his jacket. If you had an x-ray machine, you could see it, right? <laughs> but obviously, if anything bad was to happen, these fake hands swing apart and his real hands inside of his jacket holding machine gun come out to try and remove the threat, right? Which is obviously a good thing. You want to keep those people safe at all costs, right? But obviously, if you are one of those people, one of the officials that could be shot, if you do wear a flak jacket, flak, flak jacket or a body armor, I mean, it, it doesn't look good. 
especially if you have a you know a dinner suit or you you're basically campaigning like uh, like poor Abe was uh, the Japanese ex Japanese prime minister right you don't want to wear f a bloody body armor everywhere you go it's just not going to happen no so how do you fix that problem how do you actually become bulletproof while looking like you're just hanging out this is how this is how okay uh this is one potential way but still it's not something that rich people or people with power want to wear okay you could wear a dinner vest or a tuxedo over your bulletproof jacket but still no we want john wick style protection if you've seen the movies with keanu reeves all right is it possible well yes john wick was a John Wick 1 to 3 or 4, I don't know how many movies there is now, probably 3 or 4, but they, they've got this uh, tailor in the movie who's able to basically do the measurements and build him a beautiful tuxedo jacket, whatever you want to call it, that is also bulletproof. They actually have started making these things now. And I want to show you this. This is pretty interesting, right? Some of the companies are actually using carbon nanotube technology and graphene, right? Take... A look at this from this website right here all right what style italian how many buttons two uh trousers tapered how about the lining tactical this is a real thing going down here for a quick second so i didn't know much about this until i did some research right but yeah kevlar and cashmere where to get it well there's a website and a company called garrison bespoke and they're, they're said to be the number one bespoke tailor in Toronto. Uh, it is currently offering a line of bespoke bulletproof suits crafted with carbon nanotube technology. The price. Well, if you have to ask, so they say you probably can't afford it. It makes sense. All right. You're going to be rich to get one of these things. Let's face it. You're not going to be the local drug dealer. <laughs> we want some weed, bro. Want some weed? <laughs> Wearing one of these things. You're not going to be one of them. All right. Uh, Virginia-based, another one, Virginia-based Aspetto, I'm not too sure what that means, but uh, they sell a suit which combines the finest suit fabrics in the world, apparently, with tech that exceeds NIJ, DEA, and FBI testing standards. It has a triple IA, is that right, rating, which means it should defeat pistol caliber threats up to 40 more, 44 Magnum. The price? five thousand dollars once again if you've got the money it's just you know whatever who cares right uh, if 5k is still out of your price range but you're concerned about taking a slug to the chest because you know how it is one moment you're walking and the next whoops not a good situation there's also a two-piece bullet blocker suit from a company of the same name also triple ia rated uh the bullet blockers is 1200 so there you go obviously if you're someone in the industry a very famous celebrity or a politician traveling the world and you think your, your your life is under threat you know get one of these things clearly it's going to be beneficial for your futures for your future okay you know obviously that's not to say if someone was to shoot you in the head like jfk well i mean goodbye that's not happening right you your life is gone unfortunately terrible situation but it's good to have the possibility of a carbon nano, uh, you know, nanotube uh, sweet suit. I can't even speak. Just in case they do go for the heart, right? There you go. Did you guys know that this thing existed? If you didn't, give us a like and subscribe. We're talking about technology yeah, and tech news and stuff like that every single week. Four times a week. All right. This channel. Channel 2. But of course, we also are on Channel 1. Uh, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter. At Tallboy Gareth. Like and subscribe. My cat, Brittany, is literally right here, wanting to be pat. And she's currently succeeding. She's getting the pats of her life. Uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. See ya. Bye.